making sure guaranteeing time where we have what we call our special time. Uh, she knows at the end of the day, I put her to bed. You know, Daddy will say goodnight, but she has 15, 20 minutes with me. She knows that's going to happen and anything can come out. She's got that facility to talk about anything um, and that supports sort of emotional development with the deafness. And the rest of it we make up as we go along with um, advice from friends, both of deaf children and hearing children. So if you're feeling a bit sad because of something that's happened to school at school and you want to tell mum, when do you usually tell mum about it? When I come home from school. Um, in terms of what else we do in the house, it's in terms of building a confidence where she fits in now in the hearing world and her deaf skills that she's previously built up through the support with the cochlea, how to use the cochlea, what the cochlear implant is for. There's a lot of questions that now arise that I don't always have the answers for straight away. Um, we'll go away and research them, we'll ask the advice. Um, but definitely at the point where you're nervous. Are you doing the right things? Are you giving the child the best opportunity? Um, as well as delivering a normal family environment where they're not made to feel any different to as my, you know, my other child or any other hearing child.